Hey guys, mind shutting the fuck up while I'm chopping rhythm. You think fucking Beethoven had bitches in the back talking shit when he's writing a fucking symphony? What was that? Say it again. No. Oh, don't fucking say that to me, all right? Keep your fucking voice down. What do you call that? Oh, that, that was rhythm. It's like dubstep with a clogged garbage disposal, kind of. It's like that, but with a lot of... <laughs> See how it, it makes you wanna nod your head, but at the same time, you want, you want it to stop. It's like when you go over to your uncle's for dinner, but there's no dinner, and it's just you and your uncle, and you, you're trying to sleep over there, and he comes in, and it's, it's like, it's nice, but you also know it, it's, it feels right because it's wrong. Do you know what I'm saying? You know that this... <laughs> Welcome to LA where everyone is richer than you. It's so in your face how much fake better everyone is doing. But even if you're doing fake better, you're still kind of doing better. Right. I saw the other day was this Mercedes SUV. It's that big egg looking one. Looks like a fucking spaceship. You can tell this thing is loaded to the fucking gills with, I don't know, luxury air conditioning. This luxury air conditioning. Whatever. Yeah. How is that different from luxury air conditioning? Just one straight on your nuts. Yeah. It's got different vents. It blows into your ass, your nuts. <laughs> the back of your neck. The seats have anti-swamp ass material. <laughs> Anti-swass. All new anti-swass material. <laughs> Kiss new my swass goodbye. goodbye. With the new AMG 70,008 <laughs> AMG. This thing is parked under a fucking shithole. A piece of garbage apartment. That's LA, like someone will suffer just to be able to pull up to Shake Shack and be like, you like this shit? Yeah. It takes care of swass. <clears throat> no swass while he's sitting on the 10 <laughs> in traffic. And he can tweet about it. Let's go, baby! Let's go, motherfucker! <laughs> what do you want me to do, man? What do you want me to do? Well, I don't know, maybe don't drive a gigantic truck down the alley? Yeah, just pick all the trash up with your hands. <laughs> Any special messages for Dev? For Devin? Yeah. Um, he doesn't watch these, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> Fuck, that's funny! Stalk me, it's flattering. Girls, uh, if you have a crush, stalk him. They'll love that. Find his address, key your name into his car so he doesn't forget it ever. Break his legs so he can't leave. Yep. Guys love when you stalk and ruin their life. He doesn't deserve this! No! Fucking pussy. All right, real quick. I watched the video from Monday and I realized the ending bit I cut super weird. Like I made it seem like Suki was some fucking disaster project, which is stupid because I had a bunch of like very positive things. And for some reason I thought it would be boring to keep that in there, which in retrospect is dumb as hell. Like, oh yeah, all that fucking very positive and uplifting news, just cut that out. I think the point I was trying to make was that, you know, a film, you kind of just have to do it to know how to do it better. Shooting Suki was damn near perfect. You know, it, between our actors, our crew, I mean, everyone really put together their 110%. Like, I had an idea of what Suki was in my mind in terms of like how it was gonna look and how all the scenes were gonna play out. But when we got frame up and what our crew did, you know, in terms of lighting, the scene, how our actors played out each of the scenes, I mean, it, they brought elements that I couldn't have asked for. Everyone on set was so into the project and, and they didn't treat it like a job or any of that. Like they were really about, you know, the creative and, and where we were going with it. And that's how I know it's gonna be great. I owe it to our actors, I owe it to our crew, I owe it to you guys to make it clear that nothing about Suki uh, is negative in any way. Um, it's an amazing first step and uh, I would do it all over again in a heartbeat. So just wanted to say that. And uh, okay, back to the funny stuff. Fellas. Uh, fellas. Fellas, fellas, fellas. Is it gay to eat lunch with your friends? Because I mean, you're basically sitting with men. You're basically eating meat, eat meat with other dudes. Is that what you just said? Yeah. yeah. Oh, fuck. Wait, this is how you do a Casey Neistat vlog. Ready? Okay, so I'm here eating a $500 sandwich, and uh, in about 10 minutes, I'm due to go to a talk. So I have to eat this sandwich and start another company before I get there. <laughs> The world's driest sandwich. Sick vlog footage, bro. When you eat a sandwich and it's dry, <laughs> you just be like, oh man, this is what white people eat? Oh, this sucks. <laughs>